CEDAW What is CEDAW? In 1979, the United Nations adopted an International Bill of Rights for Women called the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women, that is CEDAW. Currently, it is one of the most broadly endorsed human rights treaties in the world and the Global South actors have been instrumental in its creation. Every country which has ratified the treaty agrees to follow it. The CEDAW framework encompasses substantive equality, non-discrimination and state obligation. Let's look at substantive equality. Substantive equality can be understood as equality of results between all genders. This means looking at the actual condition of women's lives as the true measure of whether equality has been achieved. Biases and stereotypes result in structural inequality, which grant special advantages to some people due to factors such as ability, literacy, class, ethnicity, sexuality or gender. This advantage is called privilege. Privilege can essentially be understood as a historically occupied position of dominance. Patriarchy is a construct of male privilege that places women below men. Men tend to enjoy benefits of patriarchy which outweigh most of the progress made by women. The justification for patriarchy attributes it to inherent natural differences between men and women. But difference is not the same as inequality. Men and women are different but equal. Instead of genuinely addressing inequality, sometimes a protectionist approach is taken. The protectionist approach denies opportunity in order to maintain the status quo. For example, in some educational institutions, women are barred from using the library facilities at night, supposedly for their own safety. The formal approach acknowledges inequality by a token measure, but doesn't take any additional measures into account. For example, in cases where all genders can use the same library, but there is no infrastructure, no security, and no safety measures. The corrective approach takes into consideration the situation and various factors affecting women. For example, in this case, the library is open and accessible for everyone at all hours. There is infrastructure with lights, spaces and security measures as well as enforcement. The corrective approach leads to substantive equality. It ensures an actual change by recognizing differences, improving conditions and access as well as creating systemic change. Thus, women have equality in opportunities, access to opportunities, and results. The corrective approach has seen many laws introduced in countries with an intent to lead a substantive equality. For example, laws banning sex determination tests in India so as to prevent female sex selective abortion, as well as a mandated quota of 30% of the reserve seats for women in parliament in Rwanda. Substantive equality creates systemic change which is visible in the actual condition of women's life.